Hi guys, we're gonna talk about the ligaments of the pelvic today. Uh, to start, I'd like to start with the hip joint. Um, as you can see, we got a bunch of um, ligaments surrounding the hip joint. The first one um, that you need to know is the iliofemoral ligament, which is this guy here. Uh, as you recall, the structure um, above it, this structure here was the ilium. So this structure here um, is connected to the femur, which is the iliofemoral ligament. And of course, same reasoning, this is the pubofemoral ligament. And if you look at the posterior view, we're going to see that um, ischiofemoral ligament. Because if you recall, this was the ischium. Now, again, ilio, pubo, and ischio. There is this um, uh, ligament here, which is called as iliopectineal bursa. We actually got a, a couple of um, bursas surrounding the pelvis. We'll talk about them. So I will um, take those structures out. Iliofemoral ligament, the one we just talked about. Um, as you can see, there's this another structure underneath that. And this is known as the articular capsule of the hip joint. And as you can see, it's kind of surrounding the hip joint like a capsule. So it's very easy to memorize. So articular capsule of the hip joint. And underneath that, we got another ligament, which is known as the synovial uh, membrane of the hip joint. And <laughs> this is the last one. Synovial membrane of the hip joint. And um, there is one last one. Uh, this one that surrounds the um, acetabulum, and this is known as the acetabular labr or labrum. Um, so I'll put it back all together. So you can see there are almost three layers. Uh, if you recall, this was the iliopectineal bursa. Uh, there are two more on the trochanters. If you remember, this was uh, this this top portion uh, of the uh, this this guy here is the greater trochanter and. The one below it is the lesser trochanter. Uh, this ligament on top, this one here, is known as the deep trochanteric bursa, and the one below it is the superficial trochanteric bursa. And that's pretty much it for the um, the hip joint itself. Uh, now, looking at the uh, um, pelvis itself, um, you'll see that. Uh, there is this ligament here, which is known as the pubic symphysis, and if you recall, this was the pubis. And there are two more structures um, here, and this is known as the inguinal ligament, which connects the ilium to pubis. Um, okay, so now we can talk about these ligaments here. Um, this, um, this big one here, looking directly at you, is the longitudinal ligament, and this goes all the way up uh, to the spine. I'll talk about that later in my future tutorials. But you can see it's it's going up. This is the lumbar part of the um, uh, longitudinal uh, ligament, and this is the uh, sacral part of the longitudinal um, ligament. Now, uh, speaking of spine, if you recall, these um, big spines here, the last five, are known as the lumbar um, spines, and uh, which makes sense why to even be called this ligament here, iliolumbar ligament, which is connected to the lumbar um, vertebra. Um, and then we got the anterior sacroiliac ligament, which is this guy here. It's, connect the, uh, it's connecting the sacrum to the uh, ilium, so it's known as the anterior sacroiliac ligament. Well, if there's anterior, of course, there's a posterior as well, which is this guy here, is known as the posterior sacroiliac ligament um there is um if you recall this structure here was the um it was a spine we used to call that a spine so guess what the structure here is known as this um sacrospinous a uh, sacrospinous um ligament sacrospinous um ligament and um if you recall this structure here um was the ischial tuberosity so which is why we call this ligament here um sacrotuberous ligament so again iliar lumbar ligament um anterior sacro um sacroiliac ligament uh we got the 
sacrospinous ligament and sacrotuberous ligament which connects to the tuberosity and this one connects to the um the spine um i think that's pretty much it for the front now we're going to focus on these two small ones um this is no th these are the coccygeal ligaments this is the anterior sacrococcygeal ligament uh connects the um you know sacrum to coccyx um so this is known as this anterior sacro um, coccygeal ligament and this is the lateral coccygeal ligament it's you know makes sense because it's away from the center of the body so we said anterior guess what there's a posterior sacro um coccygeal ligament um now we can talk about the the other ones uh, this one is known as the interspinous ligament and this ligament goes all the way up again i'll talk about that in future tutorials um if you see this is the interspinous ligament the lumbar part and uh, we are just focusing on the sacral part which is this one here uh, oops this one interspinous ligament and uh, you know there's another uh, ligament on top of the um intersec uh, spinous ligament interspinous ligament which is known as the supraspinous um ligament supraspinous ligament um there's another um structure here which is known as the ischiogluteal bursa and I think the last structure that we need to focus on is this one, which is known as the interosseous sacroiliac ligament. And I think that's it. That's pretty much all the ligaments for the pelvis. Um, and I'll make a tutorial for all the other parts too. Thanks for watching.